Here we are with example three, and the table gives the expected lifespan of people in the U.S. based upon their year of birth. So we're asked to create both a linear and quadratic model to represent the data. So rather than typing these all in by hand, I'm not going to do that at all. We're going to copy it. We're going to paste it over here into our spreadsheet. Oops, that did not paste correctly. Let's see if I can get it right this time. There we go. So. Uh, this is the year, this is the lifespan. We are, of course, going to add a column to the left because we want years past 1900 so that our numbers are not gigantic in our X column because if they were, our equation would come out all nasty. And there's a little trick. Uh, if you know that it's going to continue by tens, you can highlight more than one cell and pull down like that. I can't do that though because now it starts to go by fives. We've got to be careful with that. Okay. So again, be checking to make sure what your scale is going by here for the number that you put in here. So I did this wrong, didn't I? 30, 40, 50, 60. This should be 70. My bad. 75, 80, 85. And again, I, I can go through and type them individually, or I can highlight more than one of these cells, grab this little blue corner and pull it down, and it will fill them in for me. So that's going to be it for the getting of the, the table there. And I'm, I'm going to change my font to be larger so that we can all see it as I type things later. So let's get our graph going, everyone. We do need these two columns, not that one. We're going to say insert chart. Again, it automatically goes to a scatter chart because that's the one we used before. Come over here to customize, down to series, down to trend line. And so put a straight line on there for us. I can already tell that the straight line is a terrible model. It doesn't really fit this at all. We're asked to create a linear and a quadratic. So I will come to label and say use equation and it will give me a linear equation right there. And we also, again, to get this menu back, I need to tap in here twice. So again, two series. And we are asked to do a, is it quadratic? It is quadratic that we need. So quadratic is a polynomial to the power of two. And that does look like it fits better. So here's our polynomial to the power of two or quadratic equation. And then using the model that fits best, well, obviously, the quadratic fits better. It, it touches almost every single one of these points over here. It's kind of close with these over here. Let's look at the linear one more time just to make sure. So again, if I go back to linear, we can see that the, the polynomial to the power of 2 definitely fits better. So we'll use that one going forward. We're asked to predict the lifespan of someone in the year 2020. And so the year 2020, uh, that's 120 years after 1900. So we're going to be putting 120 in for our, our x values. And it was 120 that goes in here again. Remember to put the multiplication symbol. There's 120 and 120. I'm a little bit concerned about Wolfram reading this correctly because of this E right here. But it looks like it did do it correctly, so that's not going to be a problem. And it looks like the result is 79.516. And so this is saying, the quadratic model is saying, and I'm going to go ahead and put my A right there. B here. So this is interesting. It predicts the average lifespan of a person born in 2020 to be some, about 79 and a half years. We can see that from our Wolfram gig here, 79.516. So the average person born in 2020 can expect to live to be almost 80 years old based upon this model. 
And when does our model predict the lifespan of people in the United States will reach 100 years of age? Or does our model predict that? Why or why not? So let's come back to Wolfram. And we need to see if this model would predict 100 years of age. And so the 100 years of age is going to be our Y value. So we're going to bring this in here. As it was, we'll set it equal to 100. And we will see what happens. So we get imaginary numbers again, everyone, which means that that's never going to happen. It means that our graph here is going to flatten out and then actually start to drop later on. Uh, but it's never going to keep going up high enough to get to 100. So the quadratic model predicts that the average lifespan is never going to reach 100 years. And that's probably true. People's bodies wear out. And that's just the way it is.